Today's Juno Cruise Vlog is brought to you by our awesome sponsor, CruiseLine.com, where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. Be sure to check them out using the link in the description below. Good morning and welcome to Juno. We are on an awesome adventure today called Best of Juno with Alaska Travel Adventures. And our first stop today is Mendenhall Glacier. Behind me, you might be able to see Nugget Falls and we're gonna show you the glacier. We're gonna go whale watching after this and then we're gonna go to a salmon bake. And then if there's time after that, we're gonna try to see how many other things we can do in just one day as a little family of three in Juno. Glad you're joining us. Nugget <laughs> Falls goes that way. Huh? <clears throat> yeah, Nugget Falls is that way. Yeah. yeah. Alright, this is the point on the trail when you have to decide which way to go. So if you go left, you go to Photo Point, and if you go right, you take the one mile trail to Nugget Falls. We don't exactly have time today for a one mile, uh, two mile round trip, so we're going to go left and go to Photo Point. We've never been there before, so this will be an adventure. in the craziness of the Mendenhall Visitor Center. There are loads of buses of people here, you guys. It's a little out of control. But we were standing by the bear skins in the Visitor Center and we saw this door that went out onto a patio. And just off the patio, there's a trail that allows you to come up and get some peace and quiet and a really peaceful, beautiful view of the glacier and the falls right behind us. So right now, we're just breathing in this fresh air and taking some family photos and enjoying a little bit of quiet. All along the trails here, there's little educational spots and things that you can read along the trail. And I was just reading here that this particular spot was completely covered by the glacier in 1921. So the glacier receding is a huge thing around here. And no matter where you go, you're gonna get educated about that. But the trails are awesome. There's educational little stop points everywhere and so much quiet on this side of the visitor center. You have to check this out. Okay, pardon my wet lens, but I wanna show you guys something we saw just off the trail right here. And that is that they have carved in the ice limit into the rock from 1936. So this is where the glacier stopped in 1936. Just a wee bit different. So we left Mendenhall Glacier on our little bus and now we are here getting ready to start the whale watching portion of our tour, which is about two and a half hours. We got to meet our awesome guide named Libby, who is wonderful and has a really neat background. And we're just waiting for a couple of other tours to get here. Then we're gonna jump on the whale watching boat and go out and see what we can find. She said, maybe, just maybe we might see orcas today. So cross your fingers.
right, so we're seeing lots of beautiful whales today. No orcas yet, but lots and lots of, what kind of whales are they? Are they humpback whales or gray whales? Humpback. Humpback whales or gray whales? They're both. They're both? Yeah. <laughs> Gold Creek Salmon Bake and just had a delicious meal. There's so much to choose from here. When you first walk in, they give you this cute little teeny tiny bowl of clam chowder. So you start with chowder and then you can go to a cold line which has like Caesar salad, Alaskan Caesar salad which has salmon in it, yum! And cold couscous, coleslaw, things like that. Then you go to the hot line where you can get cornbread and salmon and decadent delicious scalloped potatoes and chicken if you want it and then you go to the grill which is a separate little station and get some salmon with an amazing maple glaze which hot tip for all of our cruise viewers can be put on anything else like the chicken or the blueberry cobbler which is absolutely amazing so the food here is great it's a little surprising how close we actually are to town it's right off a main road but it looks really rural as you can see behind me there's like big huge trees and it smells like pine and it feels like it's a million miles away from everything but it's really convenient so we are going to go and roast some marshmallows now and see about going to the waterfall. Juno this morning. I don't know if I said welcome to Juno. <laughs> Maybe I did. Anyway, it's been a great day. We got off the ship um, after cruising into port at about eight o'clock this morning. We met our tour operator under the tram wires, Alaska Travel Adventures, by the way, awesome place. And we got on our little minibus and went out to Mendenhall Glacier and had a rainy but wonderful walk out there. Then we went to Auk Bay and did a little whale watching and saw tons of whales today. So the last stop on this tour is the Gold Creek Salmon Bake, which is a really popular thing to do here in Juneau. And it's so much fun. The food is excellent. It's all you can eat. And the staff is super friendly. One of the things that's really cool about it that I didn't know is that they play live music and um, the guy's just playing kind of cool old classic rock and like country and fun like 
you know, sitcom tunes from the 70s and things like that. So it's a really great festive atmosphere and they have amazing blueberry cobbler. I think I already mentioned that. So we've just settled into a little spot by the fire pit and we're looking for some marshmallows. We found the sticks, but we haven't found the marshmallows yet. So we're gonna try to roast the marshmallows. The wood is a little bit wet right now. So hopefully the fire will get rolling and we can have some delicious marshmallows. And then we're gonna take our little bus back down to the cruise terminal. And depending on the weather, we will make our plans from there, see what else we can do today in beautiful Juneau. I got smallows! It's no secret that they keep the marshmallows by the beer, you guys, and that the beer costs eight dollars a glass. But we're gonna roast these suckers. I'm gonna let my son take it from here. You ready, big guy? So everybody's cleared out. It's super mellow and quiet. And I don't want to leave. We just roasted marshmallows and the place is completely desolate. But we're going to go jump on our van and see if we can make it to Mount Roberts Tramway before we get back on the ship. Let's go. This is happening. We are taking the tram. It's not fogged in, so we're gonna give it a go. It was 84 bucks for the three of us. Adults are 33, kids are 16. Don't check my math, I'm not sure I did that right. <laughs> we'll let you know how it goes. Taking the tram to the top of Mount Roberts is something I've always wanted to do, but for one reason or another, when we came to Juneau, we just never got around to it. And we are finally here, yay! And it's not fogged in, it's so awesome, you guys. Um, it's really, really cold, so I'm, my ears are popping from the elevation change, I got my hat on, and I think I'm ready to get inside and go explore the trails and look at the gift shop and just see what's here, and maybe we can even see the resident bald eagle. So, it's a good day in Juneau. And for the record, a family of three can do a lot of things in one day. So far, we are up to visiting the glacier, hiking at the glacier, whale watching, a salmon bake, and now Mount Roberts. So we're doing pretty good here. So we're hiking along the trails near the Mount Roberts Tramway, and it's a little bit drizzly. But there's a lot to see here. There's just gorgeous nature everywhere. So much green life, it smells beautiful, it's crisp, it's clean. Let me show you a couple of things that we can see. So if you really wanted to, you could hike all 2.5 miles from the top of Mount Roberts down to town, but it's pretty treacherous. And the woman that was checking us in on the tramway here said that a tourist fell down a ravine a few weeks ago and he survived, but he had to be Coast Guard airlifted out because he was in such a treacherous place. Apparently, all of the shrubs that he fell onto saved him, so it's dangerous. But the area that we're in is really tame and beautiful for just a little day hike. If you could put up with the drizzle and the cold, there's just so much beauty. So my overwhelming feeling about Mount Roberts so far is that I really wish I had more time to stay here. These hiking trails are spectacular. So you can see one side of the channel on this side of me, here, and then if you flip around this way, 
you can see forever going the other direction. You guys, it's so beautiful. One more thing I want to do before we leave Juno, and that is a little bit of shopping. And convenient enough for us, there's like three stores right off the little dock here. I didn't tell you guys this, but we were supposed to tender today, but we actually got a dock, so we're really stoked about it. Let's go check out the shopping. I can't hear you. For today's drink of the day, I just wanted to go back to my princess roots and order my favorite martini of all time from Princess. It's called the Sam Sidekick. I always call it the Sam Sidecar. Why do I say sidecar? Anyway, this is my favorite gin martini. It's basically gin, grapefruit juice, and blackberry brandy, and sometimes a twist of lime. Let's give it a taste. So good, you guys! It's just my favorite. I don't know why I don't order it every time, but I, I want to mix it up all the time. But in the chaos of being a parent, oh hi! No, bring it. That's great. Good timing. In the chaos of being a parent today, and you want some bread? Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about. When we're moms, we just multitask all the time. But anyway, in the chaos of being a parent, you got some food for us? We just wanted some familiarity, and that's what Sam's sad kick is to me. It's familiarity, it's home, it's princess cruises, it's all good things. Cheers. We're sailing away from Juno. It's 9.30 p.m. and we just got back from dinner and we were gonna go outside and film our little nighttime wrap up for you guys, but it's raining so we just opened the door to get some fresh air and wanted to just let everyone know how our day in Juno was. Um, it was an absolutely amazing day. It was so action-packed. We did a ton, as you guys saw throughout the day. It was crazy, like my feet are hurting and I have 19,000 steps on my pedometer, crazy, but it was amazing. It just makes me wanna go back and spend some more time, even on a land vacation. It was really special. Um, wanted to give a huge thanks to Travel Juno for all the awesome resources that helped us to plan our day and to Alaska Travel Adventures who helped us out today with our awesome um, triple threat <laughs> shore excursion that was so much fun doing the glacier the whale watching and the salmon bake all in one day and then still having time left over to go to the tram and do some shopping was a real highlight and that was kind of our plan was to see how many things we could squeeze into one day now this mom is tired because <laughs> we did a lot today you guys but it was really special very memorable and we're excited for what tomorrow holds in Skagway we're gonna be jumping on the white pass rail as long as everything goes well and um, <clears throat> checking out the Yukon route, learning about the history of that area, so join us tomorrow.